Tonight, administrators from two of Rochester's most expensive universities weighed in on this plan. Chelsea Pompiani joins us now with their reaction. Chelsea? Maureen, officials at RIT and U of R are both on board with President Obama's plan, but they point out they already do their best to ease financial burden of students and parents. President Obama is taking a stand and pushing schools to lower their costs. During his bus tour to upstate New York and Pennsylvania, the president announced his plan to rate colleges based on quality and affordability. That would determine how financial aid is distributed. Mr. Obama wants students to get the most bang for their buck. The proposed ranking system would critique colleges on tuition, student loan debt, graduation rates, and the average earning of graduates. John Burdick, Dean of Admissions at U of R, says as a taxpayer, he'd like to make sure his dollar is invested in the students. I think that if you're going to have a federal role, and it's a $250 billion role, as they keep describing, in helping higher education be part of society, it makes sense that you evaluate where those dollars go and what kinds of outcomes they, they lead to. For an undergraduate education at the U of R, tuition alone is $45,000. More than 20% of their 5,000 students are Pell Grant recipients. A huge proportion of our students are coming from the lowest income of society. They are succeeding at very high levels. Our graduation rate for the students from the lowest income is as high or higher than our students generally. So we know we're doing exactly what the Obama administration wants. At RIT, tuition also comes at a cost of close to $34,000. That's why President Bill Dessler started the Rochester City Scholar Program. If a student takes a college curriculum at a city school and their family earns less than $21,000 annually, RIT will cover their tuition. The college Education is basically becoming unaffordable, except for when we can provide sufficient financial aid for these students. The 22 students enrolled in Dessler's initiative says without it and the news of Obama's plan, they wouldn't even be in college. Lowering college costs could just stop the whole economic crisis we're having because people could have more jobs. They could get more careers to pay off any type of debt they have.